You may not notice it right away, but this website was designed to save you a lot of time researching and a lot of money for unnecessary equipment if you are interested in scanning your living environments for harmful electromagnetic frequencies. Millions of people are now finding EMF sensitivities in their families. And sensitive or not, we should all have some way to determine if our EMF exposures are too high. And we should be able to accurately read and record those exposures if we ever would need to present credible evidence to, say, a utility company or an insurance company or a device manufacturer in some legal challenge. I contacted Oram Miller, a highly experienced building biologist, to recommend the lowest cost EMF scanning meters while assuring that those meters would accurately measure the full range of potential harmful EMF exposures in a home, office, or other living space. As it turns out, it's not possible to fully scan a location with just one meter because electromagnetic frequencies cover such a wide spectrum, and there are so many different common sources of harmful EMF in our living spaces. So Orem researched all the more affordable meters looking closely at all features, functions, and costs, and he put together the most economical combination of meters possible to tell you everything you should ever need to know about the EMF hazards in any place you may occupy. It came down to four different scanning devices that we recommend and offer. I'll explain the purpose of each one briefly for you now, but there are more detailed demonstrations of the meters in videos next to each meter on our home page. The Budget Buzz Stick is a sensor and amplifier set. This is handy for your first rough sweep of an area. The sensor picks up a wide range of EMF and gives you audio feedback to help you locate general problems. After you use this a while, you can actually tell by the sound it makes what kind of source the EMF is from, such as a cell phone, bad wiring, power lines over the house, or whatever. Now, the Buzz Stick does not provide any numeric reading of the amplitudes or frequencies so it does not provide a useful record, for instance, for legal matters. The bus stick is just an easy way to reach around the room and get an indication of where you may want to put a more sophisticated meter to get precise readings and collect the reliable data you'll need to really solve the problem. The most versatile meter we offer is the Cornet ED78S, and this meter does give you precise numbers for your records, and so you know exactly what is and is not a potential problem. The Cornet is a combination meter, which means it does the work of several meters. It has three modes. It measures radio frequencies and two ranges of magnetic fields. The radio frequencies may be from cell phones or nearby cell towers, or any wireless device or system in and around your location. The magnetic fields tell you about electrical problems which are very common in our houses and offices. The Cornet is very powerful in its functions and it's probably the meter you will use the most in scanning your living environments. It takes a little time to become familiar with how to operate and use this meter, but if you watch the demonstration video on the website next to the Cornet meter, you should be ready to go. The body voltage meter is easily misunderstood. This meter is measuring electric fields in the general area, but it's doing so by reading the current that is actually stored in your body. Whenever we're near any electric lines or powered equipment, our bodies are charging and discharging all the time. You can always discharge the voltage in your body by grounding yourself. You might touch a metal railing or just stand barefoot on the ground. It usually does it. So when your body is grounded, you are drawing any nearby loose current through your body. And we were not designed to serve as grounding rods. So rather than draw all that nearby voltage through your body, it's better to escape or eliminate the source of the electric fields, especially if they're in the room where you're sleeping. The body voltage meter tells you when ambient fields are too high for health and safety and it can usually give you an idea where the fields are coming from. Without realizing it, we often have electrical wiring and devices close to us which elevate our body voltage. It's unhealthy to have a high electric charge in our bodies for sustained periods, and the body voltage meter gives you a way to find and identify those problems. 
The Stetzerizer microsurge meter is for measuring dirty electricity on the 120 volt wiring inside the building walls and the loose cords running around the room. The term dirty electricity means your house current is disrupted or polluted with transients and harmonics usually introduced into your lines by transformers, motors, wiring errors, poor grounding and all kinds of electrical appliances, tools and devices. This causes harmful electric fields to be broadcast well into your rooms and living spaces. Your house current is supposed to be 60 cycles a second, nothing more, nothing less. By plugging in the Stetzerizer meter, you can see the current that is not supposed to be there, that is being wasted and polluting your living spaces. A lot of that can be fixed by unplugging unnecessary devices or moving them, fixing wiring errors, and making sure every electrical device has a three-prong grounded plug. If that doesn't fix things, the Stetzer company makes a plug-in device called a filter that neutralizes and reduces the dirty electricity. Often, a house will need about 20 of those filters to keep the dirty electricity down. The Stetzer microsurge meter and the Stetzer filters are available on our website. Sometimes you're just looking for one particular type of exposure, so you may decide to order one or two of the meters. You do need all four meters if you want to know the full and true picture for your location. If you're ordering all four, there's a one-click package order button on our website to make ordering the full set more convenient. The cost of all four of those meters I just described is far less than just one more expensive scanning meter that might not read as many different types of exposures. That's the value and the service of this website to get some of the technicalities out of your way and bring EMF scanning solutions to a much wider audience. And most importantly, to reduce the cost of getting the equipment and information you need to master your EMF exposures. You'll find our contacts on the website if you have any questions.